This is the SDL Medical Weight Loss Radio Show. With Dr. Joe, no more talking, let's go. Welcome back to the STL Medical Weight Loss Radio Show. I'm your host, Dr. Joseph Molesky. I have a really good friend here, Drew, and we're talking about a lot of things. We really want to get into the Share Your Health Initiative or the Share Your Health Community. The Share Your Health Community is a Facebook group that I've uh, uh, built, and we have about well, close to 30 members. We had our first, um, we call it Zoom call or webinar. It's, it was an hour long on the 18th. Right, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, we had um, you know a few patients join and ask questions. It was you know very very informative, and we're going to be dropping specific educational tips as well as. Uh, discounts and uh, even we might even have like a fundraiser there's a lot of things that we're gonna have in this group but it's all to give you the education and the medication and every little piece that we can you know success essentially successfully guide you on the journey to better health and connect with other individuals that are going through the same program I love this so much and I hated to miss the the first one the, the pilot right yeah because I had another event sadly that night but I can't wait for the next one and you'll you'll give us those dates when uh, when they're available but it's so good to know that you're not alone in the fight. So many people are, are ashamed of their appearance, of their weight. They have questions. They don't know what to do, what to eat. Uh, they don't know if this reaction is, is normal or right or wrong. So when you can have this community and build this up and people then realize they're not alone in this fight and they can uh, build this friendship all yeah. across the board, that helps you so much more too. That, that gives you that boost of confidence, yeah. not just with the medication and education, but realizing that hey I, I got an army here you know losing weight with me and, and we're sharing the results together yeah, and we can do it the community is where the wealth is at in this whole program is sharing your success sharing your testimonials hoping to you know push someone else that's in need to book an appointment start on their weight loss journey and just to be able to connect I had a few questions uh, during the webinar or Zoom call that we had on the 18th that I never got before. And I was oh, like, wow. yeah, and I was just, you know, be able to talk to one of the clients uh, and we were able, everybody gained in the knowledge throughout that time in that, that hour. That is awesome. And so that's, that's what I'm trying to create is like, you know, you listen to me on the podcast, you listen to me on the radio show, you look at my Instagram, but hey, I want to sit down and talk with Dr. Joe and I want to provide a question. It could be anything. That's the cool part. And then everybody gains value from it during these calls. So I'm very passionate. About, I want to try to do it once weekly. We're right now once a month, but I'm going to start doing it twice a month. So uh, on the next, you know, show we'll we'll have the the times. I typically I'm trying to do it later on in the day so more, more people can join after work. Yeah, I think that's a good yeah. call. And so just look out for that. The next thing I want to talk about is misinformation, guys. This is crazy. So. I recently saw on Good Morning America, all right, there was a, my diet that I recommend is animal based. So that is, you have, uh, you know, grass fed organic beef, alder springs fed from the farm or a local, you can even go to Whole Foods and find grass fed beef. I recommend, you know, you have, you know, pasture, fr uh, pasture range chickens, organic chicken, but you want to focus on eating animal based products kefir, uh, milk, raw milk, if you can get it, raw cheese, cheese, organic cheese, products that are organic, but animal based, you know, eating in the morning an omelet, you know, with eggs and cheese. These are things that I recommend animal based diet. Well, Good Morning America had on their, uh, you know, morning show that did you know that red meat causes type two diabetes? What? And you're like, wow the misinformation out there that they're putting out to people. And I pray to God that most people don't get their health information from a media outlet, like Good Morning America, or uh, are hopeful that they're not just searching and browsing you, you know, Yahoo or Google and looking through what's the best for me. Because guys, you're gonna get a lot of information that's super confusing. I mean, it, I call it the diet wars. You have, oh, I need to do paleo, keto, keto, I need to do this, I need to do that. And then you're like, well, I don't even know what to do. This says almonds are bad, this says meat bad, this says I'm getting diabetes, this says I don't. So be careful because the information that you're getting can be very, uh, 
let's say, construed and just weird. I, I The fact that they said red meat causes diabetes makes zero sense. No, and that's not just with the red meat. I mean, anywhere in the media now, they, they, they turn these stories and, and they flip them. I mean, you yeah. have, it, this is the era of misinformation. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, 60% of our calories now in the United States are coming from ultra processed foods. That's what's causing diabetes. What else is causing diabetes? The fact that your average uh, American is consuming 107 grams of added sugar a day. That's causing diabetes. And so looking at what we're doing in processed foods and the amount of sugar we're consuming, that's causing diabetes. Red meat, that's not causing diabetes, guys. That's helping. Red meat, and that's a health food. So I would really caution where you're getting your your information regarding diet and all that. I would I would really make sure that Wherever you're getting that information, it has to be from a physician or a vetted source. And I provide the only up-to-date health information regarding this. And so, guys, diabetes is up 103% since the 1990s. There's studies that talk about this. There's um, also studies that go into how seed oils, canola oil, vegetable oil, uh, rapeseed oil, uh, sunflower oil, safflower oil, all these oils expelled uh, olive oil, all these oils are in uh, highly processed foods, and this is causing you to have more cravings, eat more. The sugar spikes, I've talked about the glucose spikes, anything, pretty much everything that has, uh, you know, uh, let's say it's packaged up in a little bag and it's processed in the middle of the uh, grocery store, you're, you're going to see added sugars. These added sugars keep you wanting to come back for more. They spike your sugar, they your blood sugar, they cause insulin resistance. And it's just this craziness that you have a morning show that's just going to recommend, oh, we recommend this and this and this. And you know what? Today, we're going to say that mm, red meat causes diabetes. And it's just, it's, it's, it's insanity. The, it, it doesn't even make sense. And so what does make sense is how to reverse diabetes. So how would you reverse diabetes if you had to do it? Or pre-diabetes. The fact that one in three Americans have it, let's talk about it. Number one, remove processed foods. Remove seed oils, canola oils, vegetable oils, all these things that are causing inflammation. Remove all processed foods. Go back to the one ingredient diet. It's simple. Organic, you get your um, protein source from high, high quality meats being organic grass-fed beef. You can get you know pasture-raised chicken, organic chicken. That's your protein source. Root vegetables is going to be your carbohydrate. Sweet potatoes, potatoes that are not deep fried, and then having your a big portion of your carbohydrate source being fruits, okay? The vegetables, you can do like romaine lettuce, stuff like that, but the vegetables I leave to the side because there's a lot of uh, things that vegetables hide. These plants, the plants actually have a lot of defense uh, mechanisms and chemicals in their leaves or stems or even seeds that I recommend just leave, leave out, okay? The next thing, eat more red meat and animal fats. Eat more butter, guys. Butter is so good for you. It's so good for your gut. It has a chemical compound called butyric acid, especially in the organic grass-fed butter. Butter is not going to kill you. What's going to kill you is high sugary meals, and what's going to kill you is lots of processed foods. That's what's causing diabetes. That's what's increasing your, your waist size. These is, I'm just providing you the real data that if you eat more red meat, more fruits, and even honey as your carbohydrate source, you are not going to get diabetes. These are health foods. Drink more milk. Try raw milk, raw cheese. These things are going to keep you healthy and keep you vital and uh, essentially lead to more optimal health in your life. And so, Drew, I know I just went on a tangent, but I, I when I see something like that, I'm like, this. how many people are going to follow that? Yeah, you took over. But I like that though because you're passionate about what you're what you're sharing. Yeah. People have to question all. People have to do their homework. And if you read the the headline, you're going to be misguided, right? It's all about misguidance. Yeah. Right? It's so sad. So that's why I love your program because you have that education. You have the medication. You can put everyone back on track and let them know, hey, actually, this is the reality of it. Yeah. And you have flipped me on to this raw milk. You know, you've you've introduced this to me. One of my favorite things right now, yep. you know, plus obviously the, the, the pasture, you know, raised uh, animals with the, the right meat, the good meat, uh, that, that goes 
a long way in this journey. Yeah, it provides a lot of nutrients and it provides a lot of protein. That's going to keep you satiated or feeling full. So you're not going to be grabbing these extra things, these carbohydrates that are quick fixes. Hey, I need to drive by the gas station, get this. I need to drink this. I need to do this. And the, the high protein along with you know, the carbohydrate source being fruits, both those together, guys, that's going to be your ticket to optimal health. The medication's there to kind of quiet the mind and tell you, hey, I don't need that. I can continue to go throughout my day and not, you know, binge or get off the diet. So I provide the diet, which is the education. You'll get that on social media platforms. We're going to start, uh, you know, releasing stuff throughout the share your health community. So that's the educational piece. The medication is the tool that keeps you on the diet. I know I go into that a lot, but it's something I'm passionate about. And this is something I want to get into. I got three minutes left, but this is an example of how processed our foods are. I, I wanted to make sourdough. So I'm at, I'm, I really don't like eating really any bread. It has a lot of uh, gluten in it, phytic acid. It can destroy the uh, gut uh, barrier and can cause a lot of issues inside your gut. But I wanted to try to make my own sourdough. So I went to the store, I bought a starter, I bought the culture. Sourdough is different guys because what it does is it essentially ferments the uh, yeast, I mean the, the dough, and what it does is it breaks down a lot of the gluten. Gluten can be harmful inside your gut and it breaks down some of the phytic acid. Phytic acid, what it does inside your gut, it essentially decreases the amount of minerals you can absorb. And um, I wanted to try to do it organic sourdough, Dr. Joe style, okay? I'm following you. Yeah, so, I feel like I'm going to have something new, a, yeah, a new favorite. <laughs> yeah, so I started looking through this, and I've tried different sourdoughs, and then I went into kind of the process of making sourdough. Well, then you get on the recipes online, and you see in comparison of sourdough, homemade, organic, to what's out there. Guys, potassium bromide, uh, bromate is literally in almost every food item that we consume. And I was like, what is this? Potassium bromate helps bread rise, okay? And so it has linked to cancer, um, kidney injury, and a bunch of other things. So it's mm. in most of our foods. Look at our potassium bromate. There's an example that that is a big thing that's in a lot of processed foods that could be harming us. Number two, another example. It's called azodide carbotamide. It's a long word, but it's in a ton of our breads, pastas, and uh, bakery items, crackers, and you start looking at what this is, this is an item that's used in yoga mats and rubber in your shoes. What? So we're putting it in bakery items and we're putting it in frozen foods because it makes these bakery items, especially bread, more fluffy and white. So when you start, you're sitting there scratching your hair, you're like, wait a minute, 60% of our food that is consumed is processed food. And Dr. Joe wanted to just make bread and he went through some of the things in comparison and there's harmful chemicals guys. And it's just crazy to think that we can talk about red meat causing diabetes when you try to look at a simple item like bread and it's got cancer causing things. And you know, in the United States, it's legal. You know, the FDA, we can do it. We can, we can keep, we can keep this in foods, but red meat, no, we can't. So guys get your education from the right source I'm telling you right now that sugar is the biggest problem, processed food is the biggest problem, and if you are able to eliminate that one ingredient diet and get right back on the track that you originally started at maybe 10, 15 years ago, and you want to get down 10, 15 pounds, STL Med Weight Loss, we're here. We're going to guide you to better health. STLMedWeightLoss.com, 636-628-6604. Drew's seen the results, 75 pound down. That's not an, an, an abnormality. We see this so many times. Patients are getting down their weight and they're getting back on track. You can do it today.